still in there. He's kind of rough. Like, he's kind of tough, and, um, he can be, um, like he's a pig. I want them to cry at the right time. I want them to laugh at the right time. I don't want them to laugh at the time I'm crying or, or cry at the time I'm, I'm supposed to be laughing. Maybe she only comes out at night when the moon is full and pounces on little children. I don't want to be cute. Very, very focused. It's got to go vump. You say you're sorry about what you said about my father, okay? I guess Avonlea could be perceived as, as an ambitious series because of the number of characters that are in it and because of the spectacle that we've created in terms of constructing a village and um, the large volume of, of sets. This sweeping landscape situated in Uxbridge, Ontario was selected as the site of Montgomery's fictional village of Avonlea because of its close physical resemblance to the storybook beauty of Prince Edward Island. This village is unique because none of the buildings have usable interiors. They're all facades. The doors all open, but the interiors exist elsewhere in a studio situated in downtown Toronto. The series is also based on Montgomery's collection of short stories, The Chronicles of Avonlea, and the production's writers have seamlessly woven the principal tale of the story girl into the chronicles of some of the unforgettable Avonlea townsfolk, many of whom appeared in the original Green Gables production. You have the nerve of a canal horse. Uh, at least I don't have its figure. And they fight dead on, and they, they take high dudgeon about this and that, and race off, and there's always, you know, something has gotten out of the barn, or so-and-so said something about somebody in the, in the neighborhood, and we're all in arms about it. Oh, babies, what in heaven's name is going on? <sighs> the case of Rachel Lynn, she has a heart the size of all outdoors, and she is loyal, and uh, she would do anything for anyone. She's nosy, she's a gossip, but she's also a lot of fun, <laughs> and it's certainly the best role I've ever had in film. It's a wonderful role. The cast of Avonlea Townsfolk includes a surprise cameo by author W.O. Mitchell. You're trespassing! Trespassing? This house is a pigsty from center to circumference. That woman is straight from Halifax. There are some wonderful performers in this series, as well as uh, young Sarah Pauly, who I think is, as I say, is a remarkable young actress of age 10. Just fantastic. Uh, of course, Colleen Dewhurst is back in the series. Did you ever have a bow, Miss Cuthbert? I had one once. That's the first I've heard of it. What was his name? Duncan McTavish. I don't even know if he's alive or dead. Miss Cuthbert, he's here. Who is he? Duncan McTavish. He's in Avonlea. Road to Avonlea also hosts the cast of guest stars who are some of Canada's most illustrious performers. Zoe Caldwell as Old Lady Lloyd. Daddy, get a sniper. I have you now. So I don't really think that I could... R.H. Thompson as Jasper Dale, the awkward man of Avonlea. You see, I've let everybody down. You are much too young to let anyone down. Mama, mm. how'd you get here? Papa bring you. Fiona Reed as Mrs. Craig. I've gone away. Remember? I intend to do everything. Lloyd Bachner and Rebecca Jenkins. To ensure that you receive the recognition you so rightly deserve. Cedric Smith and Lally Cadeau as Uncle Alec and Aunt Janet King. All in good time. I, I wonder, would you and be good And the enough? irrepressible Frances Highland as Sarah's nanny. Your luggage, please. Whether she's told you Comedian or not. Mag Ruffman is Sarah's vivacious Aunt Olivia. Mean spirited taunting of Jasper Dale. So before I spread that story all over Avonlea, I'd suggest that you take your wagging tongues elsewhere. <gasps> and Rosemary Dunsmore stars opposite Malcolm Stoddard in a delightful tale of misalliance and romance. Go anywhere. You can bring as much money into the house as you want to. <sighs> Of course I won't be going if that's what you want every time. I always believe a good idea is a good idea no matter where it comes from. And uh, I suppose there's a certain sharing of creative energy. I, I think that's uh, 
part of the excitement of working with really good people. And there's a, a fastidiousness to detail um, and a real concern, I think, in terms of making it right. And I suppose there's a certain loyalty cultivated as a result of that because people enjoy working on the project. Uh, they know th the quality that, that we all aspire to. And I think there's a certain challenge in wanting to, to live up to that. I never should have told those tales. <laughs> <laughs> Road to Avonlea promises to be a return to a time of simple pleasures from a bygone age in that fictional maritime town which audiences around the world have fallen in love with. So join us here in the world of Lucy Maud Montgomery when Road to Avonlea premieres Sunday, January the 7th at 7 p.m. on CBC's The Family Hour.